Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use um, Google Sheet Watch Changes in order cha to look for changes in Google Spreadsheet and we will automatically send these changes to, um, to, to the email, for example, in this case, but you can do uh, whatever else you want. So let me just uh, show you how it works. Like first of all, I will show you like my mailbox, which is empty at the moment. And I will just run this file which will be reading the data from the spreadsheet and we're gonna change the number of working hours this week and once it's gonna be updated you should send the email um, to um, to myself uh, about about this change so let's go back to this uh, scenario let's just run it and we're gonna listen for new and as you can see it's working it's looking for new data so now if I will go to the spreadsheet and I will change this 2 to 5, I can go back to my scenario and you can see that something is going on. Uh, there is a mistake here. Let me just uh, have a look what is what this mistake is about. Um, I believe this is because I select the wrong one. So let me try to run it again. Let's run it again and let me just update from 5 to 7. And go back as you can see this email was sent now now it's correct it was just like um, the email was configuration was incorrect and if I will go to my mailbox you can see that there is a update here mm, well update it's um, yeah the name is a little bit confusing I will tell you why but the main point is that if I will click you can see the message that the number of working um, number of working hours was supposed this week has been updated to uh, seven so it's exactly uh, the number that we put here so now going back why this strange like number appears here well it's basically my mistake because if i will go here i can send that's the email address where i am sending and then i am going to have this update message which is here, update, and then there is this spreadsheet ID. Well, I could change it, and if I will put, for example, spreadsheet name, now it should be, now it should be better. And the text is basically here. So I'm reading the, um, the text, the number of working hours. This week has been updated to, and is reading the data from the row a and we can click ok so it, let me just save it again um, and yeah maybe let's try to uh, build it from there so let me just delete this module and this one and let's just start from the beginning i will go with google sheet, google sheet and we're gonna go with watch changes first i will need to create a hook I created mine already. If you want to add yours, then you have to click add and create your hook. I already have mine, Romario, and then I will have this strange code here, this address. So what you have to do, you have to copy this address, click OK. Then important, like if you will want to do this, you need to do it in Google Chrome. I tried in different browser, it didn't work. And I was really thinking long, long time what's the issue and in the end I just tried on Google Chrome and worked fine. Because now you will need to go here to extensions and you will need to get like add add-ons, get a new one. And you will have to look for an add-on called make. It's gonna be this one. I already have it installed, but you will need to install it. But just by pressing this, most likely you will press on it and there will be this install button. Uh, I think it shouldn't be a problem for you. And the next thing you will need to do, like if you will go back to extensions and you will have this make for Google Sheets and you will go for settings, you will need to add it here to this web hook, web hook URL. The main issue, like, Again, I will say that like I was really having difficulties to edit here on different browser. Didn't want to just save it, and then I just tried on Google Chrome and worked fine. So if you will encounter a similar issue, that's the solution. 
So yeah, that you just put it, put it here. You click save. Actually, I'm not sure if I. Yep. You click save. It's being updated. I can now close it, and we can go back to um, to make that come. So now we are going to read the changes. Like everything is fine. Now we're gonna send this email. So if I will go to email and I will use send email, I will go here. The first thing you will need to uh, select, uh, create your, connect with your email address. I already have mine. This one is incorrect, I believe. One of them is incorrect. I don't know which one now, but I believe this one is correct one. If you you will need to add yours in case uh, you don't have. Uh, if you will, it's quite straightforward. However, if you will have issues, you can just let me know. Then you will need to um, add a recipient. So I will use my address. I'll use this email address. Subject. Again, I will put update. And I will put this spreadsheet name and content. The number of working hours have been updated to and I'm going to read the range no I will actually go row row value and I will go row A and I will click OK and now it should be fine let me just click this save button here let's see how it's gonna uh, work okay the scenario has been saved and let's see if we did everything correctly so let's just run it listen for new let me go to my google script and let's change this 7 to 10 and let's go back to the scenario something is working and it sent the email if i will go to my email Yep, I just received a new email, and now you can see that the, tr the name is different. Before it was ID, spreadsheet ID, now it's a spreadsheet name. If I'll click it, it will tell me that the number of working hours, again, I did mistake, have been updated to 10. So it's basically the same as we implemented here. Yep, so that's all that I wanted to show you in this video. If you find this very cool, let me know in the comments, and thank you, and see you in the next ones.